welcome to this year's Hope in the City as we officially kick off the Salvation Army's iconic Christmas Kettle Campaign. Hope in the City is a virtual event that brings encouraging stories of hope from Salvation Army ministry units right across the province. These life-changing stories are made possible because of the dedication of our mission partners and commitment from our Army of Givers. You all make the Salvation Army's work possible. Also, during our virtual Hope in the City, we'll have some wonderful entertainment featuring the amazing award-winning Indigenous folk group, Twin Flames. Their musical talent combines Indigenous sounds and instruments with a Western pop music feel. The Salvation Army would like to acknowledge that its provincial office is on the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now the home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. We acknowledge that there are 46 treaties and other agreements that cover the territory now called Ontario. And we also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13, signed with the Mississaugas of the Credit, and the Williams Treaties, signed with multiple Mississaugas and Chippewa bands. We are grateful for the opportunity to be able to work and live in the communities that have grown in the treaty lands of the Mississaugas. As you may know, the Salvation Army delivers essential programs and services right across Ontario that are focused on addressing homelessness, food insecurity, addictions and mental health for individuals, families, children and seniors. Last year, we provided hope to 1.2 million struggling Ontarians, all thanks to the support of you, our army of givers, our mission partners and service partners. It's your continued commitment and trust in the work of the Salvation Army, the work we do in communities throughout Ontario in making a difference in the lives of so many that provides us with the opportunity to fulfill our mission. The Salvation Army is present in over 100 communities right across the province, assisting friends, families, neighbours, our co-workers in communities near you. Your valuable financial contribution remains local to directly improve the lives of people in your community, making your community a better place. Join us now as we bring you hope stories from across the province highlighting the great work our ministry units and front lines are doing in changing lives for the better while being a transforming influence in their communities. In the Agent Court neighborhood of Scarborough, young people and older adults are connecting through a program consisting of art, crafts and other creative activities that transcends generations. Here's Captain Scott Allen from Agent Court Community Church with more. Hey Glenn. We're happy to participate in this year's Hope in the City event. Today I'd like to share with you about a program that has been having a great impact here at Agent Court Community Church. Generations Create is a multi-generational creative arts program that brings together the young and old alike to spend quality time and to be creative. Children and youth from 5 to 14 years old, accompanied by a parent or guardian, they come together and try their hand at a variety of creative activities each week. You know, we could be doing craft work and knitting or crocheting or hand sewing, photography, painting, puppet making, paper mache, drawing. It's a time away from the digital world that allows different generations to come together to spend quality time and be creative too. Our hope is that those who have been so lonely and isolated throughout the last two years of COVID will reconnect with family and friends in a safe, relaxed, and friendly setting to bring them back to some normalcy in their lives. I think in this day and age of the digital world, we need to come back to where people communicated with each other, where you got to know your elders. I think it's important for people to get back to being able to communicate together, 
to be able to do hands-on things together and be creative. The experience that I've had with the kids has been very positive. It's something that we look forward to every week. It's a great way to end our week after a busy one. It's nice to come here and sort of relax with these activities and arts and programs that are offered by these amazing people. It was a really good opportunity to step out of our very immediate neighborhood and to see who else is around us and to make new friends. And it's also been a great opportunity for us to find work as well volunteers. Thank you, Captain Scott and the entire team at Agent Court Community Church. It's a pleasure to help you welcome the beginning of your Christmas kettle campaign during Hope in the City. This is a great opportunity to learn more about this organization and take part in their Christmas kettle campaign. The Salvation Army does amazing work to support our communities, not only during the holiday season, but all year round. Thank you to the organizers and all of your incredible volunteers who are so dedicated in helping those who need it. I hope you have a great event and God bless. Thank you, Premier Ford. You've been a tireless champion of the Salvation Army over the years and your ongoing commitment during our CTV Toy Mountain Initiative is deeply appreciated. Let's continue our Ontario-wide journey with a stop at the Salvation Army York Woods Community Church in Toronto, where a soccer program for youth makes miracles come true in the Jane and Finch neighborhood. Hi, Glenn. We're happy to participate in this year's Hope in the City event. Today, I'd like to share with you about our soccer outreach program. The Jane and Finch community struggle with the high rates of gun violence and has had the highest number of COVID-19 cases in Toronto. Many of the students who live in this part of the city do not graduate from high school. Failure to graduate make youth more vulnerable. There are not many programs available for youth in this community, and that's why we create the soccer outreach program. We invite you to come enjoy sports and our hope to provide a safe, and positive environment where they can feel welcome, protected, and supported, and where they can socialize. We hope that being part of the program will teach them social skills and healthy behaviors and guide them on their journey from youth to adulthood. Why well, I think this program is important. It helps to create a safe and um, better community for the kids to come and play and making new friends. I've learned to respect people a lot more here. It's a lot more easy to make friends, a lot more easy to get good at the game. It's a lot more easy to enjoy your inner soccer. I've learned that soccer's not about winning, it's more about having fun. And I feel like over here, you know, it's happened to me a lot, yeah. Although the kids here are awesome. Very pure, they're very full hearted, and they just love that they get to hang around here with their friends and play soccer. And just to watch them do that and watch them grow and watch them run and pant and laugh is, is really edifying. It yeah, fills my heart with the joy. Yeah. Thank you, Captain Daigun Kim, and everyone at York Woods Community Church for being a transforming influence in your community. Remember, when you see the Salvation Army's iconic Christmas kettles at a mall or a store near you, drop in a loonie, toonie, or more, or you can donate online at SalvationArmy.ca or by calling 1-800-SAL-ARMY. Help us continue to deliver programs like this in Ontario. We're going to travel east to the communities of Coburg and Port Hope, where the mobile food outreach program at the Salvation Army's Coburg Community Church brings healthy and nutritious meals to the community's most vulnerable. Hi, Glenn. We are happy to be a part of this year's Hope in the City. The community mobile outreach program started three years ago to meet the needs of those most vulnerable in our communities of Coburg and Port Hope such as homeless individuals, those who do not have the means to cook meals, and those who are precariously housed. Weekly, we provide approximately 200 home-cooked hot meals that are cooked and delivered by a dedicated team of staff and volunteers. 
This program gives us the opportunity to talk with people and learn if there are other needs that we may be able to assist them with, such as a new bed, work clothes, bus fare, or assistance with rent or medical expenses, and so on. While we provide for the immediate needs and concerns of these individuals, we also assist them in so many other ways that cannot be counted, such as providing a listening ear, encouragement, support, or a simple shoulder to cry on. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. It goes a long way. It's definitely fabulous with the price of food and everything. It's fabulous. It helps out 100%. If I didn't help the meal, like, it helps me. The meal does go a long way with me. Like, it helps out, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's does matter a lot. Yeah. There are so many people who fall through the cracks. So many people who have issues and are dealing with hard time with economically and just trying to make ends meet. It just lifts them up a little bit to know that people care, that, that we care enough just to have a meal for them and uh, somebody cares to take the time to do that for them. A lot of homeless who will, and people who are in transition who are just walking down the street, so they will come into the office to receive a meal. They are so grateful when they come in. They say, they say things like, okay, I can't believe, thank you so much for being here. But it's really nice to have something hot, something that can fill them up. I think it's just a really great opportunity. So, and, they're just so, and they're so grateful. They're so grateful. A huge thank you to Lisa Graham and the entire team for helping individuals and families overcome food insecurity in Coburg and Port Hope through your innovative programs and services. The Salvation Army's Christmas Kettle Campaign is our largest fundraiser in Ontario. Your continued support helps us deliver these types of programs and services locally, helping the most vulnerable right here where you live. By donating at a kettle near you or online at SalvationArmy.ca or calling 1-800-SAL-ARMY, you are helping individuals, families, youth and seniors live their best life. Okay, let's travel to the nation's capital and learn more about the Safe Care Program offered by the Salvation Army's Bethany Hope Centre. This unique and important program is designed to help families keep their children under the age of five safe and healthy while also developing a happy relationship between parent and child. Let's hear from Bethany Hope Centre Program Coordinator Caroline Norman on how the Salvation Army is helping families of Ottawa. Hi Glenn, Safe Care is a parenting program offered at the Bethany Hope Centre in Ottawa to families with a child between zero and five years old. A trained professional delivers safe care in the family's home. The visits happen once a week for 18 to 20 weeks and each visit lasts between 60 and 90 minutes. There are three main modules in the program, health, safety and parent-child interactions. Parents will learn how to identify their child's injuries and illnesses. They will also learn to identify when their child needs emergency care, to be seen by a health professional, or when they can be cared for at home. Parents will learn how to childproof their home and eliminate any hazards that could injure their child or make them sick. Parents will learn how to engage in positive interactions with their child and improve their relationship. This module will also teach parents how to avoid and manage challenging behavior. Yeah, it really changes everything. Uh, not just Bethany Hope, but Carolyn, Carolyn herself with the Safe Care program has changed a lot of things for us. It's really helped us uh, deal with a lot of uh, personal problems as well as uh, deal with, you know, uh, with our son and just in general. It's been such a big support that it's just changed a lot like, in a positive way. The importance of this program is that it can teach so many things to so many parents. It can really bring different point of views to parents and um, to kind of review the way that they're parenting uh, so they can, they can become better parents. And it teaches a lot about patience and safety and uh, health. So it really, really helps uh, in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's been a lot of really useful information to become a better mom and better dad for my husband too. So it's been really good. Thank you, Caroline, and the entire team for your continued efforts. You are ensuring our most vulnerable are being cared for with compassion and respect. Here in Ontario, the breadth, depth, and scope of the Salvation Army's emergency disaster services is both vast and unique. 
we support individuals and families during and after an emergency with both the practical, emotional and spiritual support they need. When a devastating windstorm swept through the Ottawa area in late May, knocking out power for days to hundreds of thousands of residents in every neighbourhood of the city, the Salvation Army's Emergency Disaster Services team was on the ground and ready to help all who were affected. We were here on Sunday, was our first time to do the charging, and we also noticed that you had the, I'll call it the food truck. Just, so, you guys, it was so great to see it. We didn't need it ourselves, but the fact that you were there. Since around Saturday at 3 p.m. ish, I've been without power. Um, thankfully, we have water, but the water coming out from the tap is ice cold. So we've been coming to this community center um, since Sunday when we heard about it. It was remarkable today that we came early enough where we saw that the Salvation Army was here. So we're now talking about, okay, what can we cook on our one boiler right now? And we're thinking mac and cheese, and here's the Salvation Army with my daughter's favorite food, which is pasta in itself. We, it's something to see that we're now in benefit of this. It's more than just a meal. They just want to be somebody to listen, share their story with, and, and just, just to be there with them. And if they feel like they have a cry, it's a safe place for them to have a cry. Thank you to our dedicated EDS team and our mission partners for your devotion in supporting those affected by disasters, not just in Ottawa, but in communities right across the province. Let's travel to Northern Ontario now and hear how your dedication is improving lives to so many in Sault Ste. Marie, Sudbury and Kirkland Lake, where a range of specialty programs assist seniors, support women and children experiencing homelessness and find shelter for individuals through an innovative transitional housing program. We serve approximately 25 to 2800 clients every month and uh, we do a variety of services. What we've noted is that seniors are, are finding it uh, increasingly difficult because of, of loneliness. What we were finding is we were getting calls from people who were saying, you know, Lady X or Gentleman Y has no food in their house. So we started responding. And then we realized we have a big problem in the city. So what we just, we sat down, our staff sat down, and we decided we're gonna put aside a day each week and we're gonna deliver to low-income seniors. It's the emotional and, and spiritual contact that we're having with our clients that uh, is, is so rewarding. Hello. Hey, I'm on my way up. Anybody can give out food, but we're doing it in such a way that we're actually giving hope to people. This program has really helped me um, in many ways. I find that uh, my income is low and there are times when because of the food prices there's certain food that I can't purchase. So it really does help and I'm really blessed to get this food. If it wasn't for this program I would be doing with an awful, without an awful lot of groceries because I can't grocery shop anymore. I have to take my walker and I can't push the walker and the grocery buggy at the same time. That's how I get my groceries now. Salvation Army saved me. So it, it's, it's a fantastic program. I love it. The favorite thing about my program is joking with the, with the deliverers. They always, always have a happy smile and, and a chuckle or two. And they're, they're fantastic people. So if you're supporting us, you're doing a very good thing. You're, you're, actually, you're actually helping people. We just happen to be blessed to be the middleman who gets to do the work. When you donate to the Salvation Army right now, your donation is finding its way into the hands of truly the most vulnerable people in our community. Our seniors, our children, a lot of seniors, 51% of our clients right now are seniors, um, a lot of people who are not well. Um, so your, your donation is being used in a very, very good way. Sudbury Cedar Place is unique in our community in that we have worked diligently to engage with community partnerships. We are here 24-7. This program is an emergency short-term shelter. We offer the supports, we offer assistance, referrals, 
It isn't only about an emergency shelter, it's providing dignity, hope, respect. We don't exclude anyone, people are people. The most important part of all of we do is communication and conversation with our people. We walk this walk with our community. Our programs have created hope in our society because we give a hand up and not a hand out. We meet clients where they're at. Our goal is to have all of our clients find suitable and sustainable housing and to move them in a positive and forward direction so they can create a life for themselves. We are here to help and, and we give them hope. I lost two boys to suicide last year. I lost everything after I lost my boys. I finally found some stability, a little bit of stability and found this place and I've never felt more safe. I wasn't judged and I really needed somewhere to go because I was so lost. But since I've been here, I've gone to school, so I'm so proud. It's, pretty, it's been pretty um, fantastic here and, I, and I'm so grateful that I have this place because I don't know where I would be right now if it, wouldn't, if it wasn't for this place. When I arrived at the front door of Cedar Place, I had already been, um, you know, dealing with housing for a couple of months. By then, all my applications were in. I met all the criteria, and, and they set us up in the hotel the same day and helped us with food and contacts and phone numbers. And they started calling and, you know, housing and on our behalf to kind of gas the process and try and speed it along as much as is possible anyway. The Salvation Army kind of has boots on the ground. Um, yeah, they're, they're dealing with it and the grittiness of it all in real time. They're trying to do the best they can with what they got and uh, I'm very grateful. We have a new project where we are today, which is Hope Haven A Way Forward, which is a, a male transition six bedroom house. And we are in an innovative partnership with our local district social services. Kirkland Lake Ministry is a great example of community giving to community. The community here is tremendously giving and supportive of the Salvation Army and its operations, and we couldn't do it without them. Hope Haven simply offers the, this community our district of Temiskaming Shores, it offers them hope. It offers those going through a slew of issues. You know, this is, this is a way forward for them. I'm really glad to have this place where I have a roof over my head. I was just bouncing around and you know, like couch surfing. And here I am. I'm happy to be alive. It's a very nice place to, to First time I came in, I was so happy. I had a place by myself. They will always be there for you. Like, no matter how tough stuff gets or how deep stuff gets, they'll always be there for you. We will help them to set a goal, help them to uh, achieve what they want. Of course, our ultimate objective is help them to uh, find a permanent housing. Like the name Hope Haven, we really hope um, when people come in, they can feel safe to help them to find a safe, a safe place and find home in our house. Thank you to Auxiliary Captain Donaldson, Major Fury, Ashley and Cindy. The Salvation Army's presence in Northern Ontario continues to grow thanks to our Army of Givers and mission partners who donate monetarily or their time to help us provide hope to individuals and families in rural communities who are struggling with homelessness, food insecurity, mental health, unemployment and addiction. As we all know, employment is a key contributor to living independently. However, some individuals face barriers and Major Mary Miller and her team at the Salvation Army in Wyerton are doing tremendous work in helping at-risk youth build new skills through their Trade Start program, which serves each student's unique needs, helping them to build confidence and hands-on experience that will hopefully spark their interest in the welding profession. So the Trade Start program is a tech program for youth at risk and um, kind of neat because at one point 
um, we had a vice principal that said it was for youth of promise, which I love that term. It is a program that has now five different modules, which include welding, but we have seen such transformation for all of the students that have participated, um, that not only do they learn a skill, but they also learn a whole lot of soft skills. And we've seen a lifting of heads and confidence, and many of the students have grasped hopefulness, which is, uh, that's our goal. I've learned getting better at welding and the different types of wires, rods to use for different types of material whenever welding. It can help later in life for getting a good job that pays a lot better than most. I can prove people wrong in my family that I could get a good job. One of the lines I use is it's better to be proactive than reactive. Trade Start is something that I believe can really change our, you know, our, our, our communities. Thank you, Major Mary. Trade Start is making an incredible difference in small rural communities. This is the moment everyone has been waiting for. This year's entertainment. We are proud to have Indigenous folk rock group Twin Flames performing as part of this year's Hope in the City. Vocalists and songwriters Chelsea June and Yayi incorporate Indigenous themes and instruments to create a unique sound and musical style. They are multi-award winners at the Canadian Folk Music Awards, the Summer Solstice Indigenous Music Awards and the Native American Music Awards. Chelsea is an advocate for mental health and healthy relationships and is active in numerous community outreach programs and charitable organizations. Yayi is a former police officer that now advocates for language revitalization and preservation and dedicates his time to raising awareness of issues facing the Indigenous community in Canada. Twin Flames blends both Western and Indigenous instruments into a distinctive folk pop synth sound and will amaze and inspire you with their powerful musicality and storytelling that makes a human connection through song. Here they are, Twin Flames. Hi, I'm Chelsea June. And I'm Yai. And we are Twin Flames. Thank you so much for having us be a part of your very special event. The Salvation Army is near and dear to both of our hearts, and we truly do admire all the beautiful work that you do for our communities. You know, both Yai and I try to do as much as we can uh, to give back to our communities and to connect with our communities because we realize that without them, we would not be able to do what we love the most, and that's music. And so when people are there for each other when they need them the most, that's what's truly the important work here, here on our time here on Earth. Um, you know, we're all human beings, we're all sharing this planet together, and so making it a little easier on the next person is something that is truly important. Inuvunga, I am human, I am people, and I am alive. Those three words in English mean the same thing in Inuktitut, Inuvunga. This is our song, Human. <laughs> Pitu hak chomi, si vole pa vanun, a doctor long to me, tigo mekunga, kayusina kara, angayokaka no do haya ulauman. I have a language that was born with time, that's on two generations, one of a kind. Keep it close to me, close to my heart. Share for all to hear, I will do my part.
Jesus, from the animals, from the trees, yet we cut them down. Many things have been taken from our people, yet we are still here. Our languages are not lost, but simply resting, waiting to be reawakened. Thank you so much. What an amazing performance. Thank you, Twin Flames. Thank you for being part of this year's Hope in the City 2022. Your musical talents and gifts are both inspiring and uplifting. And we hope you enjoyed hearing stories from the Salvation Army and the way our army of givers and mission partners make all the difference in the lives of people across the province. Going into this holiday season, as you start to make plans with friends and family for Christmas, remember, not everyone is as fortunate. The Salvation Army exists to bring people up from a place of need to a place of supported independence and hope. That hope could be a warm, nutritious meal, a gift under a tree at Christmas, a safe place to live, or any of the many ways the Salvation Army is there for the most vulnerable. The need for assistance continues to increase across the province. This Christmas, please give whatever you can, however small, at Salvation Army Christmas Kettles this holiday season. You can also donate online at SalvationArmy.ca or by calling 1-800-SAL-ARMY. Thank you to everyone involved in Hope in the City 2022 and a huge thanks to you, our Army of Givers, for bringing hope health and happiness this Christmas season. Before we go, please enjoy the next video from the Hamilton Tiger Cats and the Salvation Army's recent Faith and Family Day. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and may God bless you this holiday season. Take a breath, open your eyes, it's a beautiful life. Take a step, arms out wide, into the sunlight. Do you see what I see? There's a glow all around. I can feel it in the air. It's like magic. This whole big Do you?
I can feel it in 